y'all, how's it going? So I'm filming from this bad angle because I decided to do a little vloggy vlog. We'll see if I actually do anything with it because honestly, there's no telling, none whatsoever. Anyways, I was filming at work, hence the eyeshadow and the lashes. Um, also new obsession, right? Is these like Lashify or Lilac Street lashes where they go under the lash line. I mean, they look really good, especially on camera, which is what I like to use them for. I'm filming again tomorrow, but I'm stuck in traffic. So I decided to like talk to you. And anyway, so I need to take these off because I put them on last night, which is generally what I like to do. And they'll stay on for like three to five days. But these, for whatever reason, are like lifting fast, especially on this eye. And so I don't know. Um, I do like the PC look though. So I'm digging that. I might do another PC one tonight. We'll see. I got lots of options. So lots of options. So, and there's palm trees in the background. So, I don't know. It's a beautiful day, what can I say? So, did you ever get those work emails and have those work phone calls where you just don't know what the hell is going on? That's where I feel like I'm at today, to be honest with you. <sighs> That's where I'm at. I don't know what's going on very concerned and confused and frustrated all of those things and yeah <sighs> work things at times are like uh, overall I can't complain though I do love my job I love the people I work with but like sometimes when you're dealing with other things and other funding agencies and stuff it's just like oh my god I hope I'm not the only one that thinks that but lord have mercy Good evening, how are you? So, it's nighttime, I made it home, so that's good. I had some lovely spring rolls for dinner and I am currently enjoying a Peter Mon video because why not? I did make a little time and I did so very badly on a, is it the Lago? Yeah. I think also the puppies are very like excitable today, so I don't know what's going on there. And then like a couple of days ago, the nose piece fell out, so it's been interesting. <laughs> um, I ordered some glasses from Zinni, which I've never done before, and I had to figure out how to take my pupillary distance and watch some optometry videos and stuff and found an app, so that's why we went with. Anyway, so it was pretty good. And I ordered the Zenny Optical because they were like, buy one, get one half off or 20% or something it was on sale so I got those and then I was like I if you didn't know if you couldn't tell from kind of the mild background from my video in the car uh, I live on an island so it's gonna take they were like oh it's like 25 business days and I was like so I was like okay so I shipped it to my parents house because I'm gonna go there in a few weeks for the holidays and then I found I buy direct and I was like, I found a coupon so that I could get the two day, which for me is really like seven day delivery. Sorry about the dogs. It's just going to be a thing. Cause she's upset. Um, she's just mad at her mom. I'm not a mom. I'm the auntie. Um, but, um, so anyways, I found a coupon for, uh, like, I think it was like 20% off plus like the, like I got the express like make. And I was like, okay, good. Cause I was like, I, this is just, uh, it's so like uneven and stuff. It's like bothers me. And I am filming for work uh, a good bit. Um, so there's that. And I took my lashes off um, because this inner corner and outer edge were already starting to lift. And so I'll just put a fresh set on either later tonight or tomorrow maybe. Uh, before because I have some plume lashes that I really like and so I'll just do that then but anyway so hopefully my new glasses will be here soon I picked plastic rim rimmed glasses which I've only had one pair which is technically my spare pair and I can't find it that's why I ended up doing the glasses hustle uh, and ordering a bunch and like panic buying I hope I'm not the only one that does that but it's probably me <laughs> so anyway so I did that last couple days and uh anyways the work thing i still don't know if that's going to be fixed in time before the end of that uh fiscal year 
but it is what it is, you know? So I'm just going on because you can't stress too much over it, especially not like so much going on. So anyhow, and I can't wait. Holy crap, it's bad. Uh, I've been exercising again. I'm starting to track my food again. I definitely like, I stopped doing that when we shut down because of COVID and uh, like, I've just sporadically been trying to pick it up. But I really need to make a better effort because I'm definitely in between meal snacking way too much and stuff. And I know that's the thing not a lot of people like to talk about, but as someone who has like had weight loss surgery, it's kind of a, a big part of what you're supposed to be doing. Although some people don't think you should. I. I found it best to maintain for me when I did, but I got out of the habit and it's really hard to get back. So like everything, um, but yeah, I had some really good spring rolls for dinner. It was so good. I picked them up at the farmer's market this weekend. I'm a cool farmer's market. If you ever make it out to Big Island, so good, so good. Uh, and also like the best green papaya salad, snaps. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I, I'm just proud of myself for sewing a little today. Even though it was bad sewing, I sewed. And it is like very meditative for me. So to some extent, sometimes I don't even really need to be, I honestly enjoy sewing straight lines or like overcast stitching my stuff because I find it very meditative and like relaxing. So it's like, even though it wasn't straight, it wasn't great. I was like, you know, I'm still happy I did it. So that's really what matters. And I also realized when I cut my neck band for my tank top, <laughs> I cut it like where it was less stretchy and not anyways I was just like well whatever we're going with it it's such a giant neck hole anyway so I'm like it's fine it's fine so anyhow and I placed my uh, holiday fabric orders I ordered from Lady McElroy and because they had or Sherwoods I ordered from Sherwoods yeah because they had $30 off 30 pounds 30 pounds and I shipped that to my parents. And then um, Mood had a deal where if you ordered from them, you'd get another coupon later for 30, up to 30% off or 30, I don't know, I have to go back and look at the thing. So I wanted some Ponty because I'd really like to sew pants when I'm home with my parents. So um, I really wanted to order from PDF Plotting, but it's kind of like, even with the 20% off, it's great, but I'm like, oh, I'm kind of like, I'm, 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 I'm out of cash until the next time I get paid because I, have to go take a flight to get an MRI. I know if you if you're not from here, you don't you don't know what I'm talking about. But like if you're in a remote place, you understand. So anyway, so that's medical stuff's always exciting, but it is what it is. So I just like we'll get it figured out one way or the other. So that's kind of all that's going on. That's a lot of catch up. I feel like. But I wanted to try doing a little vloggy vlog today, and if I can get it edited and up before midnight, my time, then I'll be really excited. Um, I don't know if that's possible, but we're going to try. See if there's any magic, or if there's tragic. You never know. Could be either one. So, anyways, um, I hope you have a wonderful evening, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. Uh, that's all for now, folks. I'll talk to you later.